Wow! Hello! Guess what time it is? It's mail time! Got home from work. This was in the door. It's thick. It's big. I know what it is. You don't. It's fragile. I think it's from France. It must be French. Alright, so anyway, in here is actually the combination of two orders. A little knife. Um, one thing to pay attention to when you order music on some websites, especially if you're pre-ordering things that are not yet out, is read the fine print where it says if you order a pre-order with the regular order, they're going to hold the regular order anyway until the pre-order comes up. That's what's happened here. These are two orders. Here's what I did. A couple months ago, came up on a few extra dollars, did some extra side work, figured I'd large and buy some vinyls I've been wanting to catch up on. So I bought some vinyls that were already out along with some that were coming out, some pre-orders. Well, that of course makes everything get held a couple months until the new ones come out. Then about a month or so later, had a couple extra dollars again, did the same thing. I bought something that was already out and I, I turned around and bought something that was about to come out. Well, it was gonna come out, you know, in a month or so. So, anyway, I had to wait a couple months to get all of them because I had to wait till all the periods were done. Anyway, weird, strange, but here it is. It's not like I need the music, right? I mean, it's just nice to have. So some of these you may have seen in other people's videos because some of these have been out for a couple months now. But they're new to me, and I finally got them. Oh, look at that, double pack. Ooh, some goodies in the bottom. This is going to give away hints of what's in here. Well, we'll show those in a minute. Why did I put my knife away? All right. All righty. Awesome. This is one that's been out for a little while that I had to wait to get, but Bride Sarbama. I wasn't sure if I knew about this, but it's signed by Dale and Troy, guitar player, singer. Bride is a uh, longtime Christian metal band from back in the 80s. Um, back before they were Bride, they were called Matrix, and I remember ordering Matrix tapes through the mail back before they were signed. So I've been a fan since way back, back then, 85-ish. All right, these are all, and these were all from Boone's Overstock, and these are all, all gonna be uh, Christian Metal releases. This is Retroactive Records, so, Matt Hunt at Retroactive Records. Also, Retroactive Records, Haven, Age of Darkness. This is the second Haven album. Um, for those of you who already know, these were available in black and colored vinyl, and I went with black. Save some money, because I didn't have a lot. Haven's really good, kind of a power metal band. Uh, great, you know, higher range melodic vocals. Um, very good musicianship, very good band. Love these guys back in the day. We still love them, but love them back in the day. Their first album, Your Dying Day, also retroactive. Very similar style, great stuff. These are some of the ones that I was catching up on because these came out a couple months ago, but at the time didn't have the finances, so I uh, eventually got around to getting them. And these are some of the new ones that were, well this one actually came out a month or so ago, but I had to wait to get mine. The other bride, Snake's Eyes, Snake Eyes. Um, this one I've had the digital copy of because through the magazine I got a digital copy of it from Retroactive. So I've been listening to it, but now I've got it on vinyl. And in this case, all of these are colored vinyl. I wanted to see one of these close up. Ooh, it's kind of a blue marble. I don't know how well that comes out on camera, but. And a 
along with that on the side here got the poster I also got this I don't know if I was expecting maybe they had extras the Haven Age of Darkness because I think you had to pre-order to get those so that's exciting exciting to have the new River Disturbance Deliverance if you're a uh, follower and fan of Scott Waters he was just talking about this not the other day on, on his video um, this is one of the ones I believe that was holding up the order because it was a pre-order had this album since way back in the day been a huge deliverance fan nice little story nice little story to me way back when deliverance first got together uh, in the late 80s Jimmy Brown the singer I think he was still a teenager but I was running a magazine of my own at the time called the pen dragon and I used to call people and interview them and I think I talked to him a couple times on the phone back when they had demos and I remember one day he called me and pretty much on the phone played me the entire first Deliverance album, which is that album right there. Of course, it wasn't that album it was like that. Anyway, um, so that was kind of cool, but he was so excited about it, and it's still a great album. So anyway, many years later, now they've reissued this white vinyl. Very nice. Deliverance River Disturbance. They've left a little bit of behind to the thrash and a little more uh, interesting concept. So people didn't really like the Deliverance Direction as much because they've always known as someone of a thrash band. So when they did things like River Disturbance, a couple of the other albums at that time frame, some people were kind of, meh, it's not Deliverance. Um, some of us thought it was just a cool change. Well, most of you know Deliverance, if you follow Deliverance, have, uh, have went back to their roots Come on. And the newest album, The Subversive Kind, is just full, all out, original, you know, thrash attack. Well, Jimmy still likes to do the music similar to River Disturbance, and so what did he do? He started a new band, Eraser Head. Same guys that recorded some of that, for the most part, same style uh, of Jimmy singing the same style. And again, I've had a digital copy of this for a while, so I've been listening to it. Really good, you know. It's uh, it's it's, it's good because now you get almost like getting two deliverances, but you get two different uh, styles from the same group of uh, talented musicians. Um, I believe this is on colored vinyl too. I could take it or leave it. I like colored vinyl. They're they're pretty and they're neat. I'm fine with black too. I'm not a big fan of picture discs but I don't mind color but I think it's kind of it adds a little something to it without being too distracting sound wise anyway and I also got a eraser head 8x10 sign I don't know if that's Jimmy or not maybe and a backstage or all access pass nice little replica of the 94 95 thing Anyway, that's it for now. I got a lot to play now tonight. Some fun stuff to listen to on vinyl. Um, that's all for now. New stuff comes in. Had to jump on and do a video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Thanks a lot. Woohoo! New vinyl.